What's up everybody? It's Tuesday. That means it's Torque Drift Tuesday time here on the channel. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Let's get sideways and have some fun. All right, so we are here on Torque Drift on the PC. We are on the controller. We're gonna be rocking some fun things and trying to get some tandems today because the goal of today's episode is to get those tandems. Looks like we have Atlanta FD, we have Ocean Drive, and we have Tunnel Edge. So we're gonna go to Atlanta FD. It's open, so we're gonna run the FC and we're gonna see what we can do with the FC today and then maybe switch it up to maybe some pro cars. Oh, we got that rotary rocking, 783 horsepower in that car. Let's see if we can find anybody to go against. We do. We have a really nasty uh, MX-5 right there. Lower that a little bit for you headphone users so I don't blow out your ears. He's on Android device. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can't take this FC to a win. Initiate in a little bit late on the initiation, but we're good going up the hill I don't know if I had enough power to get all the way out to that zone But we managed to somewhat Bring the car around missing that clip though I Feel like my background audio might be a little bit too loud might be causing some echoes I'm gonna have to adjust that before the next run. Let's adjust that a little bit There we go we had a little echo on that run. I do apologize. We fixed it now. 37.4 or 37 point. 37,000 to 27,000. Looks like we do have a bit of an advantage going into the chase. It's kind of a little wonky on that uh, second part. Didn't hang it out as wide as I want. Hung it out too wide there. Uh, are we going to get a chase run? We are. Pretty nasty painted M5 or M5X or MX5 there. doing that quick early initiation some serious backwards entry and that is what did him in getting lost in that sauce which is actually gonna cause me to uh, get a bit of a loss on there because I was unable to chase him because he kind of well is all over the track this man is everywhere so I'm not sure if I'm even gonna be able to win this run because with him being everywhere, not able to get any tandem points. So if I do lose that, I have a feeling that's not fair, but it is what it is. Yep, see, we lost it because I couldn't get a good chase. So am I going to get a chance to rematch? We are. So hopefully we can get a better lead, and hopefully maybe he doesn't go stage right into that wall on initiation. Initiate hard in. There we go. That was right where I wanted to be. Hold this out. A little handbrake there. A little FC that could. Right on that clip. This is a very, very fluid and beautiful run, I would have to say, so far in this FC. Without having upgraded angle kits, we managed to do a full pull with a full clean lead. Up there in the 60s, 61K. To a 61, not, this is going to be a close battle. Hopefully I can get a good chase. This is probably the battle I was looking for. So hopefully we can uh, stay close to him on the chase. Throwing that hard reverse entry into the grass. Cutting all the grass. I'm not sure how he was able to get 60 some thousand on that. Cutting to the grass like that and it's causing me to not be able to chase, so unfortunately, even though we had a good lead, not a very chaseable lead run, I would say, by that MX-5, throwing a lot of 90 degree angle on that entry. But that's what people do in the game, and if you can hold it, more power to you. Yeah, we did take a loss on that, so unfortunately, we did not take the win. But we're going to definitely try to find somebody else to battle GDU, sir, and that reverse entry. Oh, man. Lords of E-Town. 
All right. Lords of E-Town on the Apple device. I like that tag. Really, I think I missed the event to get that tag. Unfortunately. Let's get my curse out of the way. Let's see if we can't have another good run here. Shifting the third. Throw it in, initiation, get a good initiation point, nice and fluid. Getting much more settled on the controller if you guys have not noticed. Been doing a little bit of practicing here on the PC. And I think it shows much more smooth and where I need to be on these runs. And once again, another high 60. Or Oh, no, that was a high 60. 67 to 65, 3, 3, 4. So we do have a little bit of a, a buffer, not a much of a buffer going into the chase. So for this man, entry is going to be not backwards because this car cannot handle backwards entry, unfortunately, without with only having the aftermarket angle kit. But I know that uh, Mad Mike car is definitely uh, a backwards entry kind of car. And actually not really throwing too much of a backwards entry, so I'm able to kind of match his line a little bit. I'm going to tuck this one in a little bit. A little grass cut, not major. Oh, that was a major grass cut, but he kind of cut the grass too. Finish off this run with some door banging. I don't know if it's enough to take the win. We may have to bust out the M4 though. Definitely enjoying this FC. Going to be adding some more parts to this in the next episodes. Nope, we did not take the win, unfortunately. So let's switch up cars and pull out a car that uh, I feel would do a little bit better on this track. My 1,000 horsepower M4. What do we got? Looks like we're going against a 1,200 horsepower FC on the Apple device. Much quieter of a car. Third and fourth. Falcon tires going round and round on this car. Much more grip on this car. I feel like much more speed, angle, and control. Of course, this car is fully tuned with a lot more parts on it than that FC. I feel like we matched the FC's lead, though. We actually got about the same lead run, but wow, we got bested on that lead. So not able, not throwing massive 90 degree angles on entry, I think is my downside on this track, but let's see if we can't get a chase nonetheless. Kicking the fourth. Oh, I kind of biffed it in that section and lost my bumper and lost a lot of ground on that car getting closer though on the chase going up the hill I don't think it's going to be enough to take the win because we started with a bit of a deficit that's not going to be enough to take the win we are definitely taking a bunch of losses here today but it's fun nonetheless let's bring out the 700 horsepower 180 and see if the 180 can uh, do a little bit It looks like we got mad bull rookie on the Android in a 437 horsepower s15 Kick it in the third I don't think this car has the has the gusto Although then again, maybe it does have the power Got to drive the course a little bit different. It has the control. I feel like this 180 just needs a little bit more power. And it will probably be a bigger contender. We may have to work on getting some power up in this 180 as well as the other RX3 and RX8. 49 to 21. 
so we do have a bit of an advantage over the S15. A little bump on the bumper, nothing major. Oh, I entered way too early. And yep, gotta gain, gain composure because gotta catch up to this man. Or woman, or female, whatever. I can't, I can't judge a person's car. Okay. I thought we had a, a pretty simple win on that one, but unfortunately we went uh, way off course and hard into the paint, so unsure if I will be able to take the win on that. I don't think the 180's got it, so we're going to probably switch back to a maybe an FD car. The 180, okay, so I did still take the win by the narrowest of margins. It's kind of a cheat win, unfortunately. Man, it's on a new car. So let's go to the E92 Eurofighter. One of my uh, favorite cars in the game because I love how this car chases up against a, another M4. So it's a V8 battle. Kick this in the third. Throw it in fourth. Throw it in. Did not get that high entry like my other cars. Car kind of gripped up a little bit more than I thought it was going to and uh, yeah it's definitely gripping a lot harder than those other cars running that way wide but managing to somewhat finish the run not the highest run I did better in the FC expected it to uh, flick a little harder than it did 57 it's a 55 but this car is one of my favorite chase cars to run so this may be the last run of the evening for today's episode. Enter in a little bit later. Kind of a little bit of a tap, but trying to hang in there with this guy. Ooh, that four is nasty low. I think it's hindering him on this run. So I think we're going to end the episode here on this run. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll be in the description box below. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Torque Trip videos and all the videos here on the channel. We barely took the win on that one. So that'll do it here for today. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.